Hello Pisces, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will resonate in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for the beautiful Pisces this week? Knight of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. swords the knight of swords and the four of cups so straight away you've got some type of romantic gesture coming towards you this week hmm i don't really mind like if you're single i don't want to hear it you're still there's some type of there's something coming in even if you're completely complete single pringle you've got no one you've got no one you're even talking to no one you're getting to know i don't really care there's something coming in there's something coming towards you, someone coming towards you with an offer, with something really cute. It's very cute, whatever it is. Queen of Pentacles then, like this person also sees you as above them because they're a Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Even if you're with this person, even if you're married to this person, they have you on a pedestal still. A pedestal still. <laughs> um, a pedestal still. I'm not speaking right. Anyways, um, they see you in a very nice light. And they see you as better than them, which isn't fair because everybody's equal and you know that, but it's just, they just see you above them for some reason. Four of Cups, Knight of Swords, Four of Swords. It feels as if you, you're going to get a really, really nice gesture coming towards you and you're not really going to be in the mood. And when I say in the mood, I've got to be careful with my words. I don't mean it in the mood but I just feel like you're gonna be having you're gonna be a bit concentrated on something else I feel as if there's something where you're gonna be helping someone um there's something where you're gonna be out of place or out of your normal routine not to scare you it just feels as if you're helping a friend a friend's car's broken down or a friend's friend needs you to babysit or dog sit there's something that's like out of place you have to go and then it's like, oh, at the same time, there's something really nice happening, but you're not in the mood because you're too busy. Your mind's helping someone. I don't know. There's something here where, because Knight of Swords is all about saving and helping and coming in to save the day. And I feel like that's the energy you're in of helping. Someone who feels very protected by you, like a friend of yours or a sister or a brother. It's like they're calling you. They're calling you for help or they're going to you to ask for help this week. And at the same time, you have a lot of love coming in. And you're like, oh, can we, can you pause and can we do this next week? Because it's not a good time. Four of Swords here, though, there is healing. There is something healing about this. I feel as if maybe the timing of it, even though it seems terrible timing, the timing of it's going to be very good. If you embrace this, it can actually work in your favour. I'm going to clarify, what's the Knight of Cups doing here? Oh, that was confident. This person's very confident. Page of Pentacles, an offer. So you've got Knight of Cups, someone with a love offer. Page of Pentacles also. Hmm. Hmm. Page of Pentacles. This isn't... There's something, there's actually like a gift because Page of Pentacles is just sometimes, also sometimes it's like my proposal card, the Page of Pentacles, if you're um, looking to get engaged soon, there is someone like handing you something and it looks like it could be a ring, but it doesn't have to be. I'm going to, I'm going to move past this energy because I feel like the specifics don't really matter and at the end of the day, you're going to see what it is soon enough. I'm going to clarify the Queen of Pentacles. redecorating or repainting their walls of their house which is a really weird thing to say but I can just see paint rollers and it's just making me think someone's painting the walls eight of cups with the queen of pentacles do you feel like running away this week there's an energy here with the eight of cups of you wanting to distance yourself from your current world a little bit or see new horizons queen of pentacles is very homebody energy 
But then the Eight of Cups just seems to me like someone that's like, I've had enough. I'm I'm ready to move into a new cycle, a new phase, and the way you're doing that. Hmm. Some of you are moving homes or something, because even though you're a homebody and you're not that interested, it's almost like, well, I've had enough of where I currently am being a homebody. I want to be a homebody in a different city. I want to be a hermit, but I want to be a hermit in a different country. Like, there's something where you want to move. Clarify the Four of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, that's, again, there's something you're not in the mood for. There's something happening this week where you're just like, a, a, a better time. I would be stoked. But bear in mind, like, you can't control the timing, but you can control how you react, how you respond. And I feel like there's a way around. If you think outside of the box, tarot is always advice. So the advice from the tarot right now is think outside of the box. If something out of the ordinary happens and you immediately kind of cross it off and think, oh, bad timing, it actually could be extremely good timing if you make it work. Clarifying the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. Also, there's something about your work life. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Someone you work with, for a lot of you, it is also, again, Ace of Pentacles. It's also my card of someone handing you, like, a ring. So some of you are definitely getting engaged very soon. I really like this energy because I feel as if there's something where you work really well with someone. And that's not really usually the case. I, like... Not, I'm not talking about you personally, but for me, when I'm reading like couples and things like that, a lot of people don't work well together. There's like, they do well together in love and they do well together in that side of their life, but if you were to introduce money or working or something else, they don't really work well as a team. You and someone else work or will work very well as a team if you were to collaborate or if you were to kind of join forces. Um, also, even just bouncing ideas off each other, because Ace of Pentacles is a seed being planted. So there's a seed that will be planted, and it could even just be through conversation of what you want to do, and what you could do. And it's like, very beautiful brainstorming, 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 beautiful, like, you don't really understand the importance. A conversation, or, yeah, a conversation with a friend or a lover can change everything in your life if, because it's just like an idea can be planted in seconds and then it can be rooted and then from there you're away something's growing something's going to be blossoming clarify the four of swords you've got the magician temperance and justice that's three majors all together magician is all about manifestation you can bring what you want and what you desire into reality you can do you are powerful and it's funny because i was just talking about you don't realize the power of a conversation you also don't realize the power of your own thoughts of your own mind of your own um being you're constantly manifesting the next moment and with temperance card and justice both cards are about balance here there's something coming into balance where i think Maybe you're someone that always helped others and you always planted seeds of where others should go next and helping others on their way on, on along their journey. And now it's like the universe balancing it out because I feel as if you're having a seed planted. And I don't think it's coming from you necessarily. Well, everything is a reflection of yourself and everyone is like a, the universe reflected back to you. However, there's a feeling of someone is going to be a messenger because page of pentacles, pages are messengers. There is someone coming with a message, with that pentacle, with that ace of pentacles, that seed being planted. Like they have an idea. And once you've got this in your mind, it's almost like, it's your turn. I don't know why I'm getting that. It's your turn now, Pisces. If you've helped others, if you constantly are, I just feel as if at the start of this reading, I said you're going to be helping someone out with that Knight of Swords. I feel as if maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's the other way around. Someone's going to be helping you out. But it's a lot bigger than they'll ever realise. Because it's just from a simple conversation. Could have been like someone random. Could be a complete stranger. You start talking to at the supermarket. And they say something. And you go, huh? Say that again? And it's like a movie moment. It's like a pivotal moment where everything kind of changes. Because of one little thing that's been said. There's a lot of healing in your life coming from a conversation with someone or from just a little seed being planted. I really like this. And with justice, it's just, it's justice. It's justified. It's good. It's fair. It's divinely 
it's divine justice and it's divinely guided and it's time it's your turn now and it just feels as if you put yourself last and you put everyone else first and now it's turning around and it's you going to be putting yourself first and it's like very very empowering energy i like it a lot i'm gonna wrap your reading up here thank you so much for watching if anything i said resonated or you feel it will in the future because obviously it's not happened please let me know by liking and subscribing and i'll see you next tuesday for tiny tools have a tuesdays